Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Chief, a.k.a. The Chef, a.k.a. the number one 8-bit in the entire world, bringing you another episode of Brawl Stars, where inside of today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Brawl Talk that just released today, which details all of the new stuff coming out in the next update, which hopefully we're going to be seeing very soon. Guys, today has been a crazy day when it comes to Supercell games. 12 hours ago this morning, Supercell released their new game, Rush Wars, which you guys saw on my channel. I'll be making a follow-up video probably sometime tomorrow, if not later tonight, probably tomorrow. But also, Brawl Stars has their new update on the way with this Brawl Talk, and let's go and break it down. Now, with this Brawl Stars update, I've got to admit, it already seems a little bit smaller than what we've seen from normal updates, but keep in mind, the team did just get back from vacation after being gone for all of July, so I'm happy we're seeing one this soon after the new star powers actually canceled out. And let's start off by talking about the new brawler that's going to be released inside of Brawl Stars called 8-Bit. Now, 8-Bit looks like sort of an old-school Game Boy. In fact, he does have a skin coming out, which is going to be the 8-Bit Classic. Uh, which looks basically like an old school Game Boy, which is really fun to see and gives me a throwback to my like first mobile gaming device. But with 8-Bit, he's gonna be a super tanky brawler with great range that does a lot of damage, but the only thing is, is that he is extra chonky. I'm talking about the chonkiest of the chonk. You see those big cats on the internet that are super fat. This is 8-Bit, he is as fat as it gets. He is thick, he is chonk, he is all of the above and he doesn't have that much movement speed when it comes to Brawl. Now his attack is gonna be similar to a cold. He shoots a laser that does damage and does a lot of it against their opponents. It sort of hits like bullet, 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 bullet. And with his super, it actually drops a turret that ends up buffing all of your nearby teammates and gives them additional damage, which is super cool. I mean, having that turret, unlike Pam's that just heals you or does damage to your opponents, actually giving you a damage buff for your teammates inside of it should be pretty cool for those long range brawlers who try to get some good damage done from a distance or even if you get into to a head to head encounter, drop that turret on a moment's notice and be able to throw down. So super excited about this new brawler. I think he's gonna be really cool. What's really neat about him is he's going to be absolutely free for everyone above 6,000 trophies inside of Brawl Stars. So if you guys know on Trophy Road, you have a bunch of different unlockable brawlers. 8-Bit's going to be unlockable at 6,000 trophies, making him basically free if you guys have reached that point in the game. And if you haven't, keep on grinding your way up and you're going to find yourself getting 8-Bit very soon. So super cool about the new brawlers coming out inside of the game. That's mainly it right now. I mean, for me, I think he looks really strong. Again, his only weakness is that slow. Uh, so I mean, if you have like a crow, like they mentioned in Brawl Talk, they're going to be running circles around him. So you have to be super accurate and make sure that you can get out of the way because someone like a Piper who has a very fast shot is going to give 8-Bit a lot of damage. But if you get melee brawlers trying to get onto you, 8-Bit's going to be able to tear through them with that machine gun laser and go ham. And I'm super excited to check it out. Now, besides 8-Bit inside of the update, we are going to be seeing some new skins. Leon's going to be getting his very first skin inside of the game. No, it's not a meme and just like an invisible skin that doesn't actually exist. Leon's going to get a shark Leon skin, which is is amazing. I mean, think about Leon. He's like a shark when he's invisible, creeping up on you, taking a big bite out of you like Jaws, and that's what's going to be happening with this new skin. Now, not only that, we're going to be seeing a new Piper skin, which is pretty exciting. I already mentioned the 8-bit Leon skin, or 8-bit uh, 8 8-bit classic skin that's going to be released, but Piper is going to be getting a new skin inside of the game. And with Piper, she's actually going to be getting a remodel. Now, this Piper skin is a Star Point skin. So they are releasing a pair of two new Star Point skins. Star Piper is going to be the first one. Piper's getting a remodel. She's the queen. Everyone knows it. But we're also going to be getting a new Terra skin, which they actually don't even have a name for quite yet. The skin looks pretty cool. It's almost like a little bit of a royal blue with a gold. So I don't know quite what they're going to call it. They were asking people in Brawl Talk to actually help with the name in the description below. But those are going to be the new skins we see in the side of the update. Four new ones, Leon, Piper, uh, 8-bit as well as Tara, Tara, so be on the lookout for those ones. And of course, with two of them being for star points, gonna be a little diff difficult to get. Which brings us to the final part of the update. They're gonna be changing some stuff in relation to star points and making it easier to get them. So right now, you only have 20 ranks inside of the game. You have one through 20, which gets you up to 500 trophies. Supercell announced that now, you're gonna have ranks that go much, much higher inside of the game. They don't specify them inside of the video, but from what I've heard, they're gonna go pretty high up. And with these ranks, it's gonna make it easier for you to get star points. They're gonna be doing some more tweaks, which should make it better to get star points inside of the game. I know everyone's trying to get the gold bow or the gold crow that are 50,000 
star points, which is crazy. But now with these changes, now with these new ranks, which if you guys didn't know, ranks are what actually give you star points besides just the end of season. It's gonna make it easier to get star points inside of the game, which I'm excited about. But besides that, that's really it for this update. Uh, I don't have anything else to ramble on about. There's no new game modes. There's, I mean, there might be some new maps and stuff that they didn't announce, but there's no new theme actually coming out with this one. This is the Brawl Stars update as we know it. And I think even though it is a smaller update, I'm super grateful that Supercell released it so quickly after they got back from break. And now that with this one out of the way, I think they're gonna be grinding out on a new high impact update coming out later inside of the year. I'd probably aim for like, you know, late October, or early November or something like that for the next update. And I'd expect that one to be a banger with new features and everything else. This one's super solid for introducing a new brawler, new ways to have fun inside of the game with the new ranking system uh, for star points, new skins that you can work towards. Overall, even though it's small, I'm happy we're just seeing something right now. And my expectations are high for later this year where we should see a game changing update come out inside of Brawl Stars. But I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Do you think this update is good? Do you think it's whack? Are you disappointed that it's smaller? Are you happy that you're just getting something coming your way? Let me know. Personally, I'm so excited to try 8-Bit out. I love the high damage brawlers that are high risk, high reward. And with 8-Bit just being so chonky, I feel like it's a great opportunity uh, to sort of capitalize on that and have a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, that's really gonna do it for this video. Guys, not gonna stretch it out to 10 minutes, not gonna try to throw a bunch of ads into this one. I'm just gonna give you guys all the news that we learned today. Super excited to be back. And if you guys didn't know, just because Rush Wars came back or is now inside of the Supercell ecosystem doesn't mean I'm gonna be posting that full time on my channel. I'll have my full honest review coming soon, but I'm gonna be posting Brawl Stars for the foreseeable future. So don't worry about anything changing there. And I just wanted to call your mind when it comes to that. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Brawl Stars content coming your way. Missed you guys, had a great trip to Finland and I'll tell you guys more soon, but that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.